What's up everyone and welcome to a very special news update slash announcement today. Koro Koro has leaked. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new Pokemon revealed. Magiana, the man-made Pokemon. Welcome to the Age of Machines. That's right, this is the new first Pokemon revealed for what could be the seventh generation or still the sixth generation. Honestly, we still don't know, but I am so excited because look at this guy or girl. Do robots have genders? This is Magiana or Magiana. I don't know how to say its name, but it's a new Pokemon revealed, the man-made Pokemon, and you already know what's up. We're gonna take all the information we've got here, analyze it, and try to come to a conclusion to what the heck this thing is, and what game could it even be in. Feels good to be back. Just the other day, I was literally thinking, you know, Pokemon is probably gonna start introducing some more object or machine-like Pokemon in the next generation, and lo and behold, we have a Magiana here, which isn't exactly based on any kind of, like, object or thing, but rather it's entirely new machine, and it actually has a bit of a C slash BB-8 look to me. I don't know if that's just me, but it's kind of funny how it's got that, like, BB-8 kind of body. And then, at least to me, it kind of reminds me of Dian C. It doesn't actually look too much like it. And it's totally unrelated to it, actually, as far as what we know. Which we should go over, by the way, before I start speculating anymore. So, Magiana was apparently made over 500 years ago. And don't know how they had that technology back then, but you know what? We'll let it slide. Anyway, while we don't know what game Magiana is set to first appear in, we do know that it's going to appear in the Volcanion movie, and that that is now to be called Volcanion and the Contriving Magiana. So obviously there's already going to be some conflict going on between those two, and what piqued my interest in this is actually the Contriving Magiana, because I didn't even know what Contriving meant, so I went to the internet, and it turns out that it means to create or bring about by deliberate use of skill and artifice that is an object or a situation. So if it is to bring about an object, could this movie be about Magiana being this evil machine-like Ultron Tyranoid, and then turning all of these little other robots to its side to fight against Volcanion? That sounds really awesome. I don't know if it'll happen. It's not something we haven't seen before. Actually, we've seen it in pretty much every generation aside from sixth generation. We've seen some kind of Pokemon leak or be revealed earlier on um, before the generation actually comes out. All the way back in second gen, uh, the most classic example would be Togepi who appeared in the Pokemon anime since way before the second gen games were announced. Actually, even Ho-Oh appeared in like the first episode. So pretty crazy that they've been doing this for a while, revealing Pokemon um, in the generation before they come out in. It obviously makes sense to hype people up, but this is not something I was expecting at this very point because there's been so much craze over Pokemon XYZ and Zygarde and all of his cores that no one was really thinking about an entirely new Pokemon being revealed at this point in time. And yet here we have Magiana. It is so crazy of Pokemon to reveal an entirely new generation possibly with an object Pokemon when so many people hate on the Pokemon that look like things. I mean, Garbodor, Vanalite, Clink Clank, dude, they've never seen the end of this. So revealing a new generation with a robot Pokemon is pretty surprising, but I for one welcome our new overlords and I actually think Magiana is really awesome looking. Anyway, the last bit of info we have is the height and weight, which you can see on the actual page. Now, one meter is about 3.2 feet. Totally didn't look that one up. And 80.5 kilograms is about 177 pounds. So that's pretty heavy for a little three foot creature. And I actually wonder now, because you can't really tell on the Koro Koro scan, um, if it's actually floating or standing on its two little legs right there. I don't know. I assume those are its little legs and it's wearing this big kind of like metal dress around it at least that's kind of what it looks like uh, but it could very well also float and so that leads to my favorite part because we are going to start speculating about the typing of this pokemon of course you guys can hop in the comments and let me know what you think of it at any point in time but i think this might actually be a steel and psychic type i could also see it being a pure steel type or maybe a steel and fairy type obviously there's some kind of magic involved since its name literally has magic in half of it uh, but magic is a loose term in the Pokemon world. We really haven't dealt much with it, so we don't exactly know whether it means it's psychic, fairy, or some other type. Either way, steel fairy, steel psychic, and just pure steel type have all been done before, so honestly this Pokemon doesn't look like it could be an entirely new typing to me, um, which is something that was a huge deal when we were discussing Sylveon 
back in the fifth generation, or sorry, sixth gen. Geez, we have a lot of generations of Pokemon already. But there's always going to be way more to come because honestly, I don't see Pokemon ending anytime soon. And we can see proof of that here with Magiana. It opens up the door for a lot more Pokemon kind of like this to be made, which I know a lot of people are going to be against, but half animal, half machine hybrid Pokemon. It sounds really messed up and weird, but I think it would make for some really cool stuff. And actually, Magiana already has kind of a hint of that because it looks kind of like a bunny with the ears going on. The big eyes actually give it kind of this scared look, so even though it is a robot, you can still feel that it has those emotions and feelings in there somehow. The last thing I wanted to talk about though is whether you think Magiana is a legendary or not, because most of the times before, we've had kind of half and half, and we don't really know whether they're legendary or not. Like, I think with the fifth generation reveal, we had Zoroark, and I kind of thought it was a legendary at first because it looked really cool and majestic, and then it turned out to be a regular Pokemon. So, will Magiana be legendary? Who really knows? We don't know its stats yet, but honestly, it doesn't really look like it to me. Of course, it could end up being one. It is against Volcanion in the movie, so it is definitely a title character. And every time so far we've had title characters in Pokemon movies, they do end up being legendary. So I guess I'm kind of leaning towards it being legendary, but I could also see it having some kind of carbink like pre-evolution. I guess maybe that's why I draw the comparison to Dian C, but it makes sense to me. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you guys. Either way, let me know anything and everything you might think about this brand new Pokemon down in the comments. Do you think this is the new generation? Do you think this will be Pokemon Z related in any way? Because I really don't think so. So I don't know if we're going to see any other news on this Pokemon for quite a while, but I certainly hope we do considering it was in Koro Koro. Either way, I am so freaking excited. We finally have some new Pokemon news and oh my gosh, it's been so long that I kind of forgot how it felt like, but man, the rush is back and it feels amazing and I am so excited. So if you guys are as well, make sure to leave a like. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I will be covering all news that comes out. So if you haven't already, subscribe for more and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna show you something beautiful.